Today we'll be looking at Arch Plays stuff, which is the channel. Let me do a quick shout out here and welcome again to you, Arch and Duck. Let's see. Here we go. A stuff. Oh no, let me restart my bot. My bot's been running a while. Okay, closed. We're gonna reopen. Alright. We shall check that very quickly. Also though, there is a video extension right on top of the video player if you're watching on PC or, or some kind of desktop. I think we're up and running now. Where you can click follow as well on Arch Play stuff. It's haunted. We should be good. I had to read some. Sometimes I have to restart it. There it is. Cool. Playing RimWorld. Awesome. So I like to start just looking at the page. And then we'll just kind of work our way up to bottom here. Let's bring the music down just slightly, just slightly. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so. Let's see. Looking at just the top of the page here, I'm seeing uh, your banner, which is pretty cool. And just so you guys have context here, um, just so we have context, there is, uh, I I'm looking on a 1080p display. Um, so, uh, I realize, and for those that don't know, uh, anyone, you know, who's viewing one of these pages, a lot of the elements sometimes get stretched or, uh, kind of, uh, resized based on the window that it's in or the resolution that it's being looked at. And so, uh, I always like to note that uh, I'm doing this particular, uh, I'm doing these reviews on a 1080p display. So you got kind of know um, what we're looking at. Uh, just kind of gives you all a, a frame of reference. After we do a quick initial look at this uh, page, this is kind of what I consider, you know, my first like uh, kind of, you know, initial reaction without too much context. And then what we'll do is we'll dive into a brief questionnaire that I had uh, Arch um, fill out to kind of give us a little more context uh, to, to the uh, the page itself. So uh, that will be the order operations and then we'll, we'll jump into um, some form of uh, VOD after that. So I see the banner. Looks like you have a cool little uh, logo and or character right here. Um, one thing to always note with these banners, especially when you're looking at it on a computer of some kind, uh, there's a big video carousel in the center, which blocks anything in the middle. So this looks really cool. It looks like an avatar of yours. Uh, it is somewhat blocked by this info box that's uh, on the left of the carousel. So. Um, if you're looking to optimize this for a 1080p screen, what I would do is I would kind of shrink it down enough to where it, most of it will fit within this view space. But otherwise, I think it looks cool. I really like the style from what I can see here so far, but we'll be digging into it. Yeah, that's from before the carousel thing existed. Yeah, what's really unfortunate for us who, you know, who have to look at our channel and this is something i always recommend to creators is we review our uh our twitch channels every so often because twitch does like to change those things and so and ultimately uh one of the nicest bits of polish that we could get on a channel i mean i know in the grand scheme of things this is probably one of the the not not so important things but in the grand scheme of 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 just our channels in general it's just making sure that it's appropriate for what we're we're looking at are those two box report things fixed in place? Uh, they they kind of are. So you would be able to see this whole banner if you're looking at it on a mobile device. But so this is me unmaximizing the window. I'm going to shrink it down 
So it kind of keeps them centered. This is me shrinking it. So to be honest, like if someone were to like, you know, view your page and their window was this thin, then yeah, they wouldn't see anything. And again, uh, the caveat here is, of course, we're looking at it fully maxed out on a 1080p uh, page the way most people would. A lot of people might have their sidebar open, which is the other thing, but uh, that's how it's going to look. I see a trailer, and I want you to know that this is really exciting to me. This is really exciting to me. And I'll tell you why, because almost no one has a trailer, like ever. <laughs> I've probably done, I think this is number 17, 16, 16 or 17 of these reviews that I've done on stream. I've done, I've done, a, I've done more than that off stream, but even, even taking those into consideration, I think only two people have ever really had a trailer from the jump. Since they've added it, obviously, in the last, I don't know, several months. So I'm really excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna maximize this. We're going to watch the trailer, and I would love to get you all... Uh, I'd love to get opinions from folks who see this. I'm going to pause the music, and then we're going to turn on the sound. All right recording this a dozen different ways and quite frankly none of it's looked good <laughs> oh no i feel like i shouldn't be down here right run away run away run away run away or just <laughs> so if you like what you see or are strangely confused and disturbed by it make sure to leave a follow and you can catch more live i don't play games well <laughs> oh <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, one, I got, I got to commend you that you, you have a trailer, so that's awesome. Uh, two, uh, I appreciated that. I thought that was really, <laughs> I thought that was really good. Um, minor, minor suggestions here, and the, this is purely on style or how you would like to approach it. Um, it did, uh, you know, I, I, I would have a very brief. I mean, maybe you want it to speak for itself, but I would have a brief like, hey, this is Arch Plays stuff. Uh, this this is what it, well, this is what you're in for, right? Like a brief intro that's like um, uh, descriptive in terms of, of what a viewer can expect from you or your content or what you think is important. I think that's really the key, the key there. Uh, actually, I kind of want to look at this one more. I want to look at without all the sound okay good so i appreciate you looking at the camera in that moment while you're describing what you're what you tried to do the clips are excellent it's always good to have clips if you have just really great moments i always tell people you know if you have really good moments that represent your content and your and and the the channel that uh, you 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 have those those should be uh, those should be at the forefront uh, I mean and certainly watching this without any context you know I see some gameplay I see some art which is nice um, I think it's excellent I do appreciate that uh, at the end where you say you know if you if you are confused by this or you like what you saw please catch me when I'm live and do you have do you have a schedule when you say that by it make sure to leave a follow and you can catch more live i don't play games well <laughs> so the good oh. part about that was asking for a follow that's excellent what you could do 
and again some brief suggestions on how to improve that is you know click follow you can see when i'm live to, or you could do something like you know please hit follow have notifications on so you can see when i'm live which is really good you can encourage them to have notifications on and then if you have a very steady schedule you can mention that as well you can say hey i am live at this time on these days in this uh time zone so otherwise pretty solid this is pretty good i like it i like it a couple different things you can change but overall solid solid stuff okay i see you have an avatar this looks like uh this you know looks like some art likely that you made here of yourself that's great i think that's good it's very representative of you and your brand since we've already seen uh seeing that avatar up here looks good let's scroll through the page and see what we can learn i see an art stream which is fantastic i also see um some rim world so it looks like we have oh, that's all hired art awesome 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 i figured since you were an artist that it might have been it might have been you that's excellent either way I like it. Uh, so um, back to back to videos. This tells me you are active, right? I'm seeing recent broadcasts from two days, three days, five, six days ago. This is good. This tells me you're active, that you're you're streaming on a regular basis. Uh, categories. It looks like we've got a couple a couple different things so art rimworld survivalist genshin impact so there's 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 a bit of a there's a bit of a uh you know there's some survival -y games there's uh some some sim and then of course genshin impact uh i guess whatever genre you consider that right action breath breath of the wild they should just call it a breath of the wild like <laughs> i'm just kidding uh it's just a spawn of a whole new genre Arch says, I'm not a good artist. I do it to show people that you can be bad at it too. <laughs> Duck says, you're pretty good at it, no joke. Give yourself some credit, Arch. Give yourself Breath of the Waifu. There it is. Breath of the Waifu. That is like the perfect... That is like the perfect description. Like, I'm in. I'm in. If you just described it to me, like, is that... I couldn't I couldn't I, I couldn't resist I'm sure all right so this is a uh, initial look on this page looks solid looks solid um let me pull up your form just to give you all some context so I had arch fill this out it's a very very brief questionnaire that says hey what what are you and your channel about and so uh let's take a quick look here I ask, my first question is always, at least in terms of the important stuff, how long have you been streaming? Arch says 10 months. So that's excellent. Please describe your channel and what kind of content you produce. So uh, Arch says chill content focused on stories, also art. Great. What I like to do with that question is actually um, it's kind of it's not a trick at all but it's it is a means of there's some motivation behind that question and i think every creator should really be thinking about where they are when it comes to this sort of thing uh, being able to talk about your channel and being able to talk about the content on it and and your overall goal for it so chill content focused on stories also art not bad but certainly i would about expanding upon on that expanding upon that description right how you can better describe what you're into um i think it's a solid start though what's your streaming schedule uh tuesday wednesday saturday sunday 6 p.m utc plus 13 okay great so we've got four days a week some of these vods look to be around six to six to seven hours i would imagine your average is 
somewhere between five and seven hours. So that's good. All right. What would you like to get out of the review? Feedback aimed at improving polish. Yeah, perfect. We can do that. What particular things do you want looked at? Things I can improve on with my own interaction, areas I can tighten up. Okay, we can do that as well. Hello, Ross, how's it going? And then I ask a final question of, do you have any specific questions you'd like answers? Answered, how to make friends with other content creators, not for growth. Okay, got it. Remind me and we'll, we'll, we'll cover that. We'll cover that. Like just now, Ross, did, did that literally just happen? in this moment. I'm sorry to hear that. 30 minutes, well, you know. That's, uh, that's, that's rough, dude. I'm sorry. If you'd like to come in and hang out and forget about it, or just, you know, deal with it while we're in here. Your brother even, yeah. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. We're gonna hit we're gonna hit the about button and we're gonna we're gonna We're gonna look at Arch's page here. So what I like to do is I like to read this description to kind of get a little bit more from ya. So I can't be your therapist. I'm not qualified for that. Ross, but you know, you can hang out if you'd like. Arch says, Variety streamer who enjoys games with deep lore and explosions. Community manager for the MMORPG Worm Online and a game sadly without explosives. I, <laughs> I, uh, I like your description of variety streamer who enjoys games with deep lore and, ex and then you have this whole explosions. <laughs> Community, okay. That's really cool. This is cool. And you describe what you do, which is awesome. I think this is excellent. Um, you actually don't mention art here, which I would consider mentioning art. And I, uh, I think you should maybe include that in this section. This is, I always look at it this way. Uh, this is like the brief, this is the brief, like, how do I fit everything in a, a couple sentences description of my channel? And then when you have an about me, you can you can definitely go far more into detail, which is excellent. I like to see this. So um, let's click on your Twitter. Twitter link. Perfect. Looks like it works. Awesome. I always check to see if things are like up to date. And one thing, especially with Discord, one thing with Discord is um, sometimes those invites expire. So just make sure you have a permanent invite there or one that is current. But it looks, you look good. And that's something I think some creators forget about. Sometimes they generate an invite and it's only good for like 24 hours and then it's expired. I've actually ran into a few of those. So that looks good. Um, you're about me. This is excellent. You go into a bit more detail. I love talking about things to do with game dev, community management, and social sides of games. I also love Warhammer 40k, coffee and ferrets. That's this is great. This is good. I like it. So you come you come from the same place I do in terms of like game, uh, game industry side. Uh, looking at you know. You know, looking at working, you know, working with the community as well. So I think this is awesome. I enjoy streaming open world games with deep lore such as Fallout, Elder, Elder Scrolls, and more. And good, you talk about art here. Excellent. You talk about who made this art. This is cool. Actually, wait. Oh, I see. This is a separate panel, right? This is a separate panel. I like that you're crediting the artists, which is always awesome. Love it. This is good. I'm going to test these panel links as well. Looks good. Looks good. Yep. Yep. 
tips. Streamlabs tips. Looks like it works as well. Kill hops creator cred. Perfect. This looks all great. All of these are up to date. They all work. You have a um, scheduling widget, which is fantastic. What I would probably do is I would probably move this to the second slot where Discord is, just so it's um, right, right here and easy to see. I know it's just below it, but the first three slots, I always recommend people look at the uh, putting up the about if they have an about and the schedule. And then if they have a rules uh, panel, which some some people do, I, I populate your first three slots with those things. Um, but overall, your panels look good. The art style of them. Seems consistent, uh, whether they're consistent with the rest of your. Um, brand uh we'll find out but overall looks good cool let's click the schedule you did have rules but you have to agree to a pop-up when you click chat yeah yep it's true and the 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 only problem with having rules only in the chat pop-up is that you can never look at them again i think unless you log in from a fresh browser but like if i if i wanted to look at them again after having seen them once I can't just make that happen unless it's on an about panel or a rule panel. Let's see. So we have scheduled. Your schedule widget appears to be filled out. Although they seem to be inconsistent. So this says 8 p.m. Pacific. This is in my time zone. Your schedule widget says 10 p.m. So I would just make sure that they're consistent. And it's a little tough. You're unaware of the Twitch thing? <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll find that in your creator dashboard. Under, I think, preferences and channel, if I'm, if I, if I remember correctly but you'll be able to find it there. You can update that. You can you can set the time. You can set, um, obviously, the time, but you can set the category and what you want to call it to give people an idea of what they're in for. What is also, what is also nice is it takes into consideration recent streams. So it does like a Monday through Sunday block. So anything from this week starting Monday till until Sunday, it shows you what has been already streamed until what is scheduled for out for that Sunday. So I just I just make sure those those are consistent or you can just rely on one. You can either rely on the panel and then um, get rid of get rid of the stuff that's on the uh, schedule widget or you could keep it on both. Just make sure they're both good. Clicking on videos, I see recent broadcasts, recent highlights, popular clips in all videos. So all the standard stuff. Fantastic. Thank you for fixing that, Arch. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Uh, these are the standard four categories that a streamer uh, would have here. These are by default from Twitch. If this were my page, there's a little button right here. You'd see a little button right here that uh, says to edit these. That allows you to reorder them in any order you like. Recent broadcast is always the strongest, so I highly recommend that. Uh, let's see, I see highlights and uploads, just a few of those, popular clips, and all videos. I would consider shifting, if you don't have a lot of highlights and uploads, shifting this lower in your um, uh, sorting. I'd put it at the bottom. If you don't have a lot of these, you can't get rid of this, unfortunately, but it would be stronger to leave your popular clips in the second row at the very least. Speaking of which, I have popular clips here. Let me take a look at these. Let me take a look. Look. All right. So we've got we've got 
about 10 clips. These are the top clips from the last 30 days. We have a lot of clips. Now, your trailer tells me you've been paying attention to your clips, which is excellent. We got a bunch here. These are clipped, it looks like, by your community, which is excellent. This is good. Continue to encourage your, uh, your community to clip. I also recommend if you know that there was a great moment during a stream, you could add a stream marker via, via your creator dashboard, or if you have a stream deck through a stream deck uh, shortcut, you can uh, actually directly clip or you could add a marker so you can look at it later in the VOD. And I, I always recommend getting into a good habit if you haven't already yourself. Uh, just making sure you can find some some good stuff from your recent streams so i highly recommend that um and it seems like your your community is pretty active in doing so so keep doing that keep doing that keep encouraging it um clips clips are one of the best ways to get people to see your stream and the steps usually involve, you know, checking for clips on a regular basis, but then, you know, vetting them or reviewing them and taking the ones that you like and sharing them on things like social media or on a discord of yours. It helps drive those people back to your uh, back to your stream, as you probably already know. So clips are good. Looks good. Keep it up. Make it make it a routine of reviewing those. Now I know we're in this weird we're in this weird situation, right? Where a lot of a lot of uh, channels are kind of deleting all their vods. They're deleting their clips and highlights because uh, they're worried about the the you know the DMCA strikes. Um, I would recommend if you have a massive amount of videos and vods and highlights and clips um you know to make sure that you reduce the likelihood of ev gang and any and any dmca strikes i saw that you're using chill hop music so you're probably probably just fine so um but if you if there's any doubt i would i would review the videos in doubt and then maybe download them and then delete them from the channel because Twitch is in the middle of this giant music thing that they got themselves into. So they're, uh, I, I highly recommend being diligent with that sort of thing. Hello, Agent Moore. Thank you for that compliment of saying nice notes. Welcome. Birch says, I try to run copyright free lo fi and chill hop. I've worked between Stream Beats, Chill Hop, Pretzel, and my own. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's good. Then you're fine. You're probably fine. I found that the only danger for someone like me, because I do the same thing as you, I've used a combination of pretzel, chill hop, uh, I got stream beats going on right, right this second. Um, the only danger for me is when I review other channels. <laughs> Yesterday I had to mute my, mute, mute some playback from another channel that I was reviewing because uh, they were using some copyright music. And so I'm like, oh, we got to mute it. So. But good, it seems like you're, you have good practices around that. If you are watching this and you're a creator and you are making um, videos or streaming, uh, make sure that you're getting music and and alerts that uh, don't use copyright sound. Copyright sounds. Pretzel, can I eat it? <laughs> Not this one. This one's actually, if, if you type it into a browser, it's pretzel, pretzel.rocks. They're a music streaming service that's actually free. They have various um, various genres of music, but it's all uh, it's all for the the purpose of being able to use it with content creation, so streams, videos, etc. They have a they have a premium version where uh, there's less um, I think restriction. Um, if you use the free version and you use it on Twitch, it will update, it'll update your chat with the, with the current song and artist, which is nice because it gives credit, but, uh, the, the streamer has no power to choose to hide that if they want. 
if they don't want to get all the all the spam in their chant but there's also some other neat benefits i think it's like uh gosh it used to be five dollars a month i think they raised their prices though because they're doing a bunch of different things but pretzel is actually a very good example of a music service it's now 15 yeah i was gonna say i think they raised it to like 10 or 15 so um they're really trying to help out not just creators, but they're trying to help out the musicians, the artists who make the make the music. Your grandfather, so you haven't canceled even though you're using Chill Hop. Yeah, you know, I tried their $5 one for like two months and I thought it was okay, but I think I prefer Chill Hop and I prefer Stream Beats a little bit more. So that's what I decided to go to. But I'm glad that you're doing it, creators. Find a music solution that you like that is not copyright. Um, unfortunately, Twitch is not doing a very great job of supporting uh, their creators in that avenue. So uh, just be diligent. Be aware of the sounds that you're using, whether it is whether it's your background music, whether it's your alerts and notifications or whether it's just something that you're trying to view live. Um, we talked about watching YouTube videos on our channels the other day, and um, those are also subject to DMCA strikes, uh, like streaming other people's content, which I know we're doing here, but I've, you know, we're, work we're working with the person who owns this channel. So in this case, makes sense. But like if you're watching random YouTube videos or random streams live, uh, that's a big no-no because you don't you know you don't necessarily have permission to do that so little bit of info for you but overall this looks good get get those clips get those clips it looks solid though any thoughts any questions arch or from anyone watching it's looking good so far this is solid the color don't click a pink haired clip wait does it make a difference with a the theme agent Moore asks I mean as long as you have one that you're happy with as a creator um, some colors are harsher to look at like if everything was a high contrast against the other colors that were in play then maybe but overall, uh, it looks like, you know, we got a, a visual style that's mostly purple. Totally fine. I think I think it's great. And actually, you'll find that a lot because it's because Twitch, right? Twitch purple. A lot of people like to have similar. I mean, look at mine. Look at my theme. Look at this. It's purple. I got purple and black and white is my colors on this uh, on this channel. So. I mean, it makes a difference in terms of like, if you, you, you gotta be happy and it's gotta be cohesive. You know, it's gotta be cohesive. That's really it. And as long as the colors go well together, it's really fine. Arch Play Stuff says, I, I was orange and teal, but shifted towards cyan, pink and purple. I mean, I like it, I dig it, it looks good. It looks like you even changed your, um, like where you could pick like the color theme of your channel. Looks like we got like a light blue. Almost a teal, not quite a teal. But uh, that's awesome. Now, Arch, are there any particular... Are there any particular VODs that you would like to get looked at? Is there anything specific or do you have or okay so i know your preference for what not to look don't don't click a pink haired clip hold on how far back does that even go i think let's, let's look at sort by popular let's see if is that a pink haired clip no Ah, ah, ah. 
That's hilarious. Hey, Luminor. Welcome, man. Good to see you. Wait, wait, wait. Accidentally, Arch? Hold on. Hold on. How? <laughs> All right. Go to clips. <laughs> Hold on. If you're all new here or you're just joining us, we're doing a stream review with Arch Play Stuff. What I'm doing is I'm looking at their channel and their content, and I give commentary on the things that they're doing really well, the things and the things they can improve on. Let's see. So this is the top clips in the last seven days, but it's a, it, it's a, it's, it's a RimWorld clip. 30 days? The most recent stream would be best. I've been battling audio issues. Okay. Got it. Scarred Vulcan says it was meant to be watermelon speed. This is great. Okay, well, here's here's what we'll do. We will start with the most recent, and then we may jump back to other ones, depending on how much we get through. Yeah, my question is how how like Arc Fox just asked asked it. How does watermelon seeds become something so outrageous? Good question. I mean, I I want to know. All right. Let's okay, so we've done we've done the channel the channel uh page review. Now let's dive into the bod. This is the most that I saw there. I saw the Ipswich thing and I was like, I used to date a girl from Ipswich. That's that's my claim to fame right now. How are you doing though? Doesn't look like it's going away. Well, it's up to you if we do this. Um, ah, she was fine. She was fine. We met on 4chan. So, you know, she's about what you'd expect from someone from 4chan. <laughs> let's, let's go into the stream. We'll, we'll check out that again later, but I want to start it from the beginning so we could kind of get a look. We met, we met on 4chan. All right. I think I'm already going to enjoy enjoy this. This is going to be great. All right, Arch. Let's take a look at this screen. I mean, keeping up with your theme, this is excellent. Starting soon, looks good. Is this chat? I imagine this is chat. So, I mean, I like the look and feel. I have a couple notes though. So, your latest donation. It's chat, you have tracks of songs about three minutes each. Okay, so what I would say here, uh, I, would, I would frame this as tip, latest tip. Never donation, unless this is a charity stream. Like, unless you got, you're, you're raising money for a charity, then I would say donation here. Otherwise, it should say latest tip if it's purely monetization that's supporting your channel. Um, I think there's something to be very uh, specific in terms of understanding the verbiage around that, right? Uh, you're a creator, they're tipping you, they're supporting you for the work that you do as a creator. Uh, you're not a charity, unless you're raising money for a charity, but... Uh, latest, latest sub, latest follower, these are good. It's always good to have these sort of stats on here. This is fantastic. What I would recommend is um, the font for these is not as easily readable, especially because it's scrolling. I think my problem is it seems too narrow. And it looks like they're not show they're only showing the most recent. So the animation, I know you're probably trying to get movement on this screen. Animation may not be necessary here. Unless you unless you want to grab like the last five of each. You get the last five tips. Last uh, it's mostly for fitting names. Yeah, I mean, that's that's also fair. Um, I feel like you could give these slightly more room to breathe 
and make them a little longer. And then you'd be able to fit longer names in general. But that's that's my thought on those. I feel like these uh, the readability is kind of not the best here on these things. I know you're. I, I do see why you would want to try to make room for the names. So I'd recommend maybe make extending these out. Maybe using a slightly smaller font and one that isn't so narrow. Um, the only other thing about this particular screen is I would say that, and this is, this is a common thing I recommend to everyone, keep your starting screen less than three minutes, if at all possible. Some, some setups don't allow for that. Some people have to, they require more prep time to get things going. But what you should really consider doing here is, uh, try to front load that, try to front load all your prep time um before the stream and aim for three minutes you usually aim for five that's not bad that's not bad uh i try to go three i try to go three some cases i i recommend two but uh usually you know what you're trying to do is uh your your community your regulars everyone else who knows when the stream starts they're either going to filter in after your your starting soon or they'll show up right on time so they could chat during your starting soon it's that that small group of people who will see that you're live and they click on your channel from either the recommended or they see you being hosted by a, by another streamer or they just, you know, click, click a random stream in a category. Those are the people we're trying to like capture. And what we would want to do is we want to keep that window a little smaller so they they'll see you come on live as well as we'd add a countdown timer or a loading bar, some indicator saying I'm going to be live very soon. So, um, I highly, I highly recommend, uh, shoot, shoot for, shoot for three. Five's not bad. Um, I know some people are unwilling to wait that long, especially, and again, this is targeted for those capturing the very small subsection of people that happen to click on your link and may not be familiar with your channel. Those are the people we're trying to capture here. Although there may be some regulars that see your live and they may not even click because they're like, oh, well, he's not actually doing anything right now. I'll come back later. Gives time for the anxiety from clicking to go live to subside. I get that. I get that. I don't talk about this often. I really don't. I don't talk about this often. But I think it's really important. Maybe I'll talk about it more. I think it's really important that creators have a pre-stream ritual. And a lot of you do already. I, I'm sure you do. But I think it's very important they have a pre-stream ritual. And that ritual should really get you in the mindset to be the creator that you're trying to be while you're live, right? And so it's it's kind of getting you in the right mode, the right mood. And for me, what I do after I've done all the technical stuff, after I've pulled up all my apps and turn on my music and make sure the sound levels look good and I pull up everything related to the stream and that like that includes the game if I'm playing a game um I after I get all that done I take five minutes I kid you not I take five minutes after I've gotten my water I I take a big drink of water and then I just kind of I stand for about a minute and then I just kind of look up. I kind of avoid the screen. I take a deep breath and then I sit down. And then either I sit down and I close my eyes or I just sit down and don't look at anything particular, especially not my screen. And I just think about like, how am I going to, how am I going to open? What am I going to say? So that's, that helps me with the anxiety. And I'll be honest, Arch, you've touched on something a lot of us, the creators don't talk about. A lot of us, when we stream, we don't talk about this. Hitting the go live button can be a very stressful feeling for, for quite a few people. 
for quite a few people. It's a stressful thing. Even after I've streamed for what? 2,000 some hours just on this channel alone, not to mention other channels. Still gets me every time. Still gets me. So come up with a, a pre-stream ritual that helps you really, even if it's like a one minute thing or a two minute thing, it doesn't have to be five minutes, but that gets you in that mindset. Front load the preparation, front load that dealing with the anxiety of it, and then get it to the point where your starting screen is a little a little bit shorter. Now, the only downside of a, a smaller starting screen means there potentially be may, there may be less people to talk to. That's the only that's the only downside. But if your community and your regulars learn that oh his his, his starting screen is roughly five minutes or it's roughly three minutes, they'll know to either be here right after that if they want to just skip the the intro or they'll be here during the intro depending on who they are. Agent Moore asks, if there is a countdown timer, will people be more likely to hang out? Yes. People are more likely to hang out because they can at least know when to expect to be away from this screen. So that is why I recommend one. Um, our good friend, Benny Fitz, another streamer, he uses a loading bar. And I like I like his loading bar. It's a similar idea. Kind of gives... Uh, gives people an idea of how close they are to the show actually starting. So that is why I recommend something like that. It gives it gives you, as a viewer, a very good idea of when when they're live. Let's see. So you're aim you're, you aim for five minutes. Let's um, see where we're at. This start may have been longer. Uh oh. Uh oh, hold on. If you have to the go live anxiety, you're being pressured. I mean, it's only if you don't. In my opinion, it's only if you don't take the proper the proper time, right? If you don't take the proper time to be ready to go. And I always, I, I would love to see creators not wait till the last minute to go live. You know what I mean? Gotcha, Arch. Gotcha. Jupiter Oak Evolution says, hello, glad to see you're helping our chat. He's a great stream. That's great. And welcome, Jupiter. So this is nine minutes. I'll be honest, the bounce rate, the bounce, the longer, the longer this goes, the higher the potential for bounce rate you'll have. And that means that they'll probably click in and they, they may leave. Oh no, oh no, I've been showing off my... There we go. Is the storm still there? Hello, hello. <clears throat> you got a sneak peek of uh, what I've been working on. All right, all right. Let's get some tunes going. Let's get some tunes going. Albatross by Plusma. Don't know what or who this is, but you know. It is. Do you want to delay it? Do you want to delay and hang in chat and see how it goes? I mean, I'm pretty patient. I did see that. I just saw that when I was posting that I was drawing you. Uh, let's have another look here. So, yeah, I see... That looks like it's... Uh... From a layout perspective, and you're probably already seeing this, I'm seeing part of your... Photoshop behind your camera. Hey, um... And I see that, yeah, it's just not squared up properly. You had a, you had yeah. a chatting layout and a Photoshop you know layout. Okay. Data girl from Ipswich. Uh, uh. 
Here we go. That, that, that's, the, that's the key bit that I saw there. I saw the Ipswich thing and I was like, I used to date a girl from Ipswich. That's, that's my claim to fame right now. How are you doing though? Doesn't look like it's going away. Well, it's up to you if we do this. Um, ah, she was fine. She was fine. We met on 4chan. So, you know, she was about what you'd expect from someone from 4chan. So, you know. <laughs> Actually, no, she wasn't about what you'd expect because she was a female, so... This is... Look, this I, don't, is I don't want to talk about it. This is good. I realized I've just, like, majorly, so, majorly... So I used to date a girl from the Ipswich I met on 4chan. Hi, I have no common sense. Explains a lot, though, doesn't it? <laughs> what a great opening. It turns out that they shared a lot of the same assets and prepping one messed with the other. Ah, yes. The good old asset... So... I'll touch on this briefly. I've ran I've ran workshops on this with, with with some peers, but what I would tell you is um there are ways around that. And one way that helps with that is if you do um what's called scene nesting. And the concept is very simple in that you take an asset or you take a source in your stream that you know you're going to re reuse a lot. So something like your camera or something like your Photoshop capture or your, your alerts, you put that on a scene of its own and, or anything that you know you would repeatedly use that would be in, in a specific configuration that you know you'll see later in other scenes. Make one scene of that. So I have a camera scene, right? I have a camera scene. And then what you can do is when you have, let's say, your just chatting scene, you can actually reference the other scenes you just created. So you could add the camera scene that you just made. So inside of your camera scene is just a full screen of your camera. Or inside your Photoshop scene is a full screen of your Photoshop. Now what's really interesting is when you do it this way, this provides two advantages. Anytime you need to do something with your camera, at least on the base level, whether you need to change what the source might be or um, how on a high level, how it's cropped, you could do it once in its main scene and it will proliferate those changes across all of the other scenes, which is somewhat the problem you're, you're referencing here. But if you do it this way, it'll also help you in, in a matter of if you need to crop it a certain way or do something very specific in the scene that you're working in, you could do it per scene by just messing with that one source in the scene. So what's interesting is I have this camera. I have a camera scene. It's just a full, it's just a full camera, but it's cropped a certain way on this specific scene. This is the scene I call my main scene for this stream. When I go to my just chatting scene, it's cropped slightly differently. And if, if I like, I could face it a different way, even though it's pulling from that main camera scene, because I'm making the changes on my just chatting scene, not on the, on the main scene. So, uh, it's fantastic. If people are interested in learning about that, I'm always glad to put on either one-on-one -on -one lessons on how that works because it really makes uh, it really helps keep not only a a from a, like an organizational level keeps things tidy, but it's also very powerful in the way that you can use it. You had to add a secondary scene. So you had webcam, webcam window, then you'd have to reference webcam window and apply filters. Yeah. So what's really cool is if if we do it under if we do it under the um you know, if we do it under the way I just recommended, you could apply filters to the camera on a per scene basis, which is really nice. So anyway. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. I'm always glad to teach that. I've taught many people the beauty of scene nesting. And I think it's it's highly, it's very powerful. Works really well. So I have a couple comments on this. Is your camera mirrored here? Who said I did? Who said I did? Uh, you know? 
you're normally facing this way and i think it would uh, feel pretty good for you to be facing the other way you had um what'd you have today Was i would unmirror that you can you layer things a little like photoshop or do you have to add each item to each scene you can layer scenes on top of scenes, for sure. You can. You can layer them. Uh, you're happy to go ahead today. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm Yeah, I mean, it, it does look like there's um, a couple layout things that you've got going on, probably due to the issue that you're mentioning that, that you're familiar with, Arch, that you know. Obviously, your chat's kind of getting pushed out from the top of the frame. Your emotes are so cute. So the issue you have is I'm in the upper right corner of the stream when playing games. Would swapping mirrors be different? The storm will bring all sorts of fish in. Yeah, actually, like I said, if if you if this was a nested scene, you could flip it. You don't flip the camera itself, but you flip the reference of it. Which means like you could have your camera facing one way, and then you can flip it based on the scene you're in. <laughs> all right all right so just looking through making sure everything's working you're facing left on chatting then right on gaming close out a few things got to, got to i think it's weird that you're facing that. left on chatting I, remember what I'm actually doing. I think it'd be nice um, if you're facing right on on this scene here we go get the but if you're on the upper right corner rewards. in a gaming scene um, this is perfect can have their special voices but I also want to add two more. That's that's one thing that I wanted to do. Um, let's add a custom reward. Are we talking about channel points here? Your storm clouds bringing all the fish to the rod and they're like, damn right. That's how it goes, isn't it? That's great. You're a funny dude, Arch. I like it. I like it. What am I doing? Why do people watch me? So yeah, I was going to say here, you go a little quiet because you're focusing on getting your, your, your reward set up. Okay, so we have that one, and we're going to have a new one. Okay, well, you know, the dead air is not too bad there. Chat, what do you think so far? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I like Agent. I like how Agent Moore feels go. about it. So I've added two new... Um, <laughs> two new... Uh, channel point redeems. Explain something poorly and uh, give bad advice. So they will be uh, the two things that we will have. Um, well, you got to ask the question. Um, give bad advice. Always leave things to the last minute because the added <laughs> adrenaline and pressure will enable you to get the job done at twice as well. That it is also indeed bad advice. You to be able to tell people that you perform well under pressure and it will reflect that because you always get things done at the last minute. Follow that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I'd like to note you are doing 720p as as your um, resolution. That's perfect. That's fantastic. I think that's that's great, um, especially if you don't have transcoding. It makes it really easy for viewers to still watch you. One thing I'm noticing here, um, your your mix seems pretty solid. Good Just because it's what you do, though, I would like to hear. <laughs> Sui in with the raid. Thank you so much. Look how bad. Look, I've just looked over and look how bad the um 
the scribbling thing is that scribble chat is in all the wrong places. <laughs> you the, just uh, realized it here. Thing, that needs to come up here and it needs to be stretched down. Awesome. I've been I've been silly. Oh, what are we doing? Fixing fixing it live. I get it. There we go. Oh, no, a little bit more down. I won the giveaway. What did I win? Reroll it. Give it away again. Good morning, Aya. Good morning. And hello, Sui. Hello, Sui. Thank you so much for that raid. And Your engagement morning, seems everyone. pretty good so I far. Um, I, play stuff. I'm sure Sui I think your mix sounds that. good, but it's hard to hear. Yes, like, she talks a lot about me. it's hard to know if there, if there are going to be other, That's until there are other things that are playing. What, what I do like is now? otherwise, you know, oh, good. You're, fi oh, what? good. You're fixing your camera. Excellent. What? Good. Good. Nope. Not quite. Uh, just gonna stick me here for that. Nope. Do I not want it? No, no, no. I do. I do. It's just Close. Wasn't there, so I don't feel like I deserve it. What I would do um, is I would frame your camera a little, slightly meant. lower. Um, I will as well, your camera yeah, seems framed a little high. It looked interesting. Your camera seems framed a little high here. Uh, I would want the top of your head to be kind of like, like right here-ish. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was. I did lurk for a good, good half of the stream. Right here-ish. But yes, welcome on. A lot of space I'm, there. Um, I'm just adding some new channel points. Um, uh, so yeah, we are just adding a few, uh, a few new channel point redemptions. So we have added explain something poorly, random fact, and give bad advice. So we're going to continue working on those and we're going to have some random facts, some bad would you advice. Asian Moore asks, would you zoom in or would you stay you zoom so level wish. and just have more um, torso? Uh, you know what? I would I say much, I, I would play with it. That. It's so, hard to know until until you play with it. That is what I'll do. But yes, sit down, have some fun. We're going to be the answer is potentially yes on the zoom, but she is a rather lovely I, I, I would... Uh, I would honestly of, uh, play with it, don't start but that framing uh, seems a little like too high, and, and so. Fun games like that. Um, I hope she is still around. Um, she did You'll likely zoom. Point. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, just drop it. Yeah. No, that's great. Chaos shall conquer infinity simplex. My gosh, it is way too early for Aya to be awake, but Infinity you can't spell she is webcam. Here. That's fine. Uh, so let's let's uh, England, so jump forward a little bit. A little bit, a little. That's very important. And good morning, Agent Moore. How are you? How are you? We are drawing Oleander today, and um, we do have a little special thing. If you donate ten dollars towards Oleander's. Um, uh fundraiser i will do a drawing for you off stream that is not as scuffed as all of this so if you would like a personal drawing for just ten dollars donate it to oleander's charity and let her know and i will um i'll be doing that so arch says i'm working with my artist to get proper layout bits that i lined up to that's all new okay and I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of seeing that things aren't quite aligned well here, which, you know, you just called out that you're working with them on it. But yeah, I, I would, I would hope for something more nicely lined up, similar width for each of these things. I'm not sure what this box on the lower corner is for. Um, I'm kind of curious what that, what the intent for that box is. The bottom is meant to be a cam camera on your tablet, but it wasn't working. I see. If this is if that's what happens, what I would do is I would get rid of the frame, and I'd bring this chat down if possible. Like I would extend it down if possible. Again, yeah. I mean, mostly to kind of keep that alignment feeling nice and visually pleasing. It's kind of tough because, you know, you want it you. It's tough while you're doing all this life, but I would, I would, I would recommend, I would kill that frame if it wasn't working, and then I would just extend this chat all the way down to meet the edge, the lower edge of your Photoshop frame. I don't, I don't know. Like, this one doesn't feel, oh, whoops. Actually, we could just do that. We could just go, hey, boom, we're going to grab this color. 
Your and camera then... looks a little stretched to me too. Is that? Am That's I seeing that right? Matches. And then we'll have to add a bit of. Um, just painted the sun on your forehead. Well, you are in Queensland. I have heard that is where the sun exists. Um, it does, yeah. Yeah, what I would do normally is if you want to make it fit the frame, is I would I would not stretch it. I go. would just I'm sorry if this color's way off. Drag it out by the corner, and then I would crop it at um, where it we'll, it's too um, too long. Tint it up a bit, maybe. We also need a larger brush. Chat, you know, I'm I'm curious for those of you that watch this enough. So what I'm thinking is we start with this as the base. Do you do you guys see value in like building building scenes? Do you see value in me walking through some of this stuff on OBS? In terms of like how to build a good scene, because I think every so often we come across this sort of thing and it'd be cool to show it, but I'm not sure if that's watchable or if people think that's not so valuable. Let me know. Let me know. I'm going to listen to you talk to your a chat. A masterpiece, exactly, exactly. I'm going to listen to you talk to your look, chat. Look, I'm, I've bit. never claimed that I am good at art. And I absolutely, like, it's not even, it's not even like responding people with like, oh, shucks. Oh, shush, when people are like, no, you're actually quite good at art. It's like, literally, no, I, I know I'm not. I know that I am actually not. Um, Give yourself some credit, Arch. Come on, man. You gotta that believe. That is a much darker color, because I don't gotta think we this color. You can still, you can be humble and still believe in your skills, my friend. I think you're doing all right. I think you're doing all right. Um... We will, of course, be working with blurs and such later. Uh, I'm also very, not very good at um, any of this. So we'll probably do an opaque layer over the top. Just Agent Moore says, spoiler alert, things. that particular Let's piece of art that. becomes Let's so great. This. Oh, that's awesome. Ollie, you've tried drawing yourself before and coloring yourself. What tips would you give? Uh, <laughs> help. So if we do this, what we can do is that's more of a color, isn't it? I reckon that's more your color. A little less red. Um, but what if we just change the opacity down and drop that a little bit? Stasberry says scene tutorials and showing up how to set up different aspects would be amazing. I know I struggle and sometimes still do with those things. For sure, Snozberries, and welcome, buddy. Good to see you. We we reviewed Snozberries yesterday. Look, it looks horrifying at the moment, but at once. Another 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 cool streamer you should check out sometime. Um, let's have a look. We came out with some very good action items for Snozberries channel. Your art is very hit and miss. Hey, a lot of things are very hit and miss, you know. We're all growing. We're all improving. Yeah, no, these colors are very strange. You know, I um, I hate I hate to make it about streaming, also, but you know, streaming is the same way. Some days are very hit and miss. You know, uh, we, we are still working. especially when especially you know, when you're you're, you're the size. You know that I'll be honest, like the size of this help. channel. The size is um, somewhat small. Um, you know, give me makeup help there are some very will, hit or miss streams in like, terms of like makeup, you know. Speak up. Uh, quality healthy, engagement healthy, interaction healthy. things like that and i i want to note but that you know i've been streaming for a while and i i know what to look more, for and i do my best to execute you, you but you know out. i still you have my bad days out. as well nosberries has been lurking the whole time well welcome dude it's good to see you but it is too red it, it feels too red you know what if we move it under this and then change layer 7's opacity even lower no Um, hmm. I mean, I could do the anime thing and just make you white. Uh, that's usually how they do. 
Uh, that's it is too yeah, uh, red though. That one feels a little bit too. Yeah, I know, right? That feels a little bit more like a shadow there. Um, this is great. Go have lunch, Gilly, you silly Billy. This is great. So, so far your engagement seems pretty solid. You're not leaving too much um, dead air, which is fantastic. I think this is, this is excellent uh, so far. Yes. You're continuing to talk. You're continuing to, to engage your chat as well while talking to, um, talking to them and, and, and answering their comments or taking their suggestions. So this is fantastic. Thunderstorms and such. Yeah, we talked we talked about the frames. We talked about how this this uh this isn't as wide as the camera. This camera's frame is slightly high and then this extra frame in the bottom. The suggestion I made is that we bring things in line. That's probably a little We make this just as wide. We extend this down and we get rid of this frame. I see. I see, I see, I see. So I can't kidnap you to jump onto Discord with me and chat with me while I do this, so I can profusely apologize. Because I feel like... <laughs> I feel like of all the skin tones I've had to do, yours is one that I'm struggling with the most, and it shows. Um... So one thing I would note here, this is unrelated to the quality of what we're seeing right now. But before I forget, I don't see a closed caption solution. So um, closed captioning really helps with, with accessibility. I mean, for not just the obvious reasons of, of people who would need it, but also some people like to watch with the volume low or muted. And uh, maybe, maybe because they just, you know, have other things going on, but they like to kind of see what's going on and they like to see what you're saying. But I highly recommend, um, I highly recommend uh, some closed captioning solutions. My issue is I found it not translating so well. So what would you recommend? So I'll be honest with you. There are varying degrees of accuracy across closed captioning solutions but there's not one that is 100 percent perfect unfortunately i currently use one that is powered by google uh so the same thing that helps google and like android phones or their voice driven apps uh understand you and if you've ever used one of those you'll find that they don't always understand you either and admittedly speaking the closed captioning on mine still flubs up once in a while um but overall it does a fairly decent job so uh you'll never find one that's 100 percent perfect i highly recommend maybe playing with a few and seeing if there's any that uh you like better whether it's you know whether you like the features of it or you like its ability to actually transcribe what you're saying more accurately uh i'm using an obs plugin that I can link later. Uh, it seems to work really well. The reason why I like this particular one is it also broadcasts directly to Twitch's closed captioning channel, which means it, you know, you click the closed caption button, it appears or disappears. So if you're a viewer, you can choose to turn it on or off. And what's also great is in the VOD, you can do the same thing. It saves it to the VOD. Not all extensions do that. You look almost white there. Um, Nasberry says I have literally put up a ruler to my monitor to help things line up in case you did before. not know um, if you're moving something around you can use arrow keys yeah arrow keys are helpful for that being an engineer is there a way to do border binding like have it always land in the same spot no matter the size of the screen no there is 10 here but I don't think you are this with closed way. caption do you as a content creator decide uh, the placement or is it the viewer browser that does it so it depends on the solution the solution that i'm using um, just uses 
kind of out of the box closed captioning options, which means it only puts it in one spot. I cannot move it, nor can you. However, there are extensions that exist where uh, it puts that that ability either in the creator's hands or in the viewer's hands. Um, those are really neat, but the thing to know about extensions on Twitch is that they don't, depending on how they are used, if it's just an overlay extension, meaning that it just appears on top of the video, like on top of the video player, then that doesn't save to a VOD. So it's great live, but it doesn't work on a VOD. There are other extensions that output as a setting, okay, like output as a as a um, source, which a creator can then put in their overlay. Now the drawback of that is, uh, it's just going to be there. But the pro is that the creator can decide where it goes, and that it it would show up in the vod. But then the viewer can't control where to either put it or hide it. So there's there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Um, I always recommend, you know, if you can somehow support closed captioning, consider doing so. But it just depends. And again, you know, you know, it, it does have to do with with, you know, the creator finding something that works well for them. So the lighting's just a bit different. You know? I'm reading my my closed captioning right now. It's so far it seems it's it's nailing it it's nailing it right i agree layer. agent more that's fantastic oh actually we've already got layer six here and if you guys are just joining us we're doing a stream review we're taking a look and in this case it's arch play okay. stuff Bang. where we I'm look at their content All. their scene design their engagement with their chat yeah we are using this one, so we go. And we like, point out the things they're doing well, as well as as the things they can improve upon. We brush it down here. And this is just where the light's hitting the side of your face. Let's go because forward. The obviously, they're like heavily politicized, well, look at that. which is un an unfortunate it's side effect of good. the current global environment and anti-intellectualism and all of that jazz. But um, yeah, I think all we need to do is start finding masks hot and more people will be okay with wearing them. Oh. Remove them from being a political issue and being a scientific issue and make them a fashion issue, you know? The, the, the issue won't be, oh, you're wearing a mask. The issue will be, you're wearing a 2017 mask? Oh my gosh, they're so outdated in their looks. Um, and I also am aware that Ollie has a hand down here, so we are going to quickly bust out a hand. We're going to bust a move for her. Um, and Ollie, can I please have you share your, your, uh, Discord, uh, not, not your Discord, your stream. You can share your Discord if you want, but, uh, I was wondering if you could share a link to your stream again for anyone who would like to follow you. Um, nice. Because I think it's very important that we, uh, you know, these, these aren't just for me. I don't do this just because, oh yeah, you know, me doing art does stuff. I like celebrating the person I'm drawing and I like giving it, uh, them an opportunity to share their part of their worlds. And with that said, I actually am looking at an update to streamer scribbles in the future where they will actually operate as a little bit of a um little bit of a not a podcast what's the what's the um hmm, i'm trying to think of the actual right word for it just sort of like a uh, a little bit of an interview you know and i think that'll be a lot of fun too and i am looking at that and i am working out that and awesome. it, it may happen, you know, it, it sort of depends on Lex124, welcome. Uh, he says Arch play stuff today. Apparently he so draws too. Have a bit How are you doing? I'm doing great, and Lex. Thank you so much. And uh, always good to see does. you in your haikus, also, of course. So I can, um, do that. That's not your link. It's not very says a shout out command would be great for what you just said. You do not stream on my channel. Stop stealing my stream. My gosh. Shout out commands are always useful. Here I am. Arch plays and draw stuff. You and you're off like pretending to be me. 
What did Dwight say? Identity theft is a crime? <laughs> if you're not following me, why are you here? I'm kind of curious. Do you have okay. a bot? And we kind of gave you a bit of a scuffed hand because for some reason that um that highlight did not really work well. But that's usually okay. manned by can, some of the mods. Okay, cool. Bit more. Why is it not? Thanks working for that, Scarf Vulcan. Well? Appreciate it. Oh, we're operating on a low. Um... This is excellent. Let's uh, let's continue to jump uh, forward and listen. You have a bot that posts under your name. Um, I recommend for just the sake of clarity and the structure of the channel to always, you know, um, I personally like to see a separate account for the bot. Um, that's just my preference. Uh, I don't think there's a right or wrong way. I personally like having a separate bot because then, um, your viewers know where where things are coming from. I mean, obviously you're you're talking and and the bots going, but it's just kind of a, a of a clarity thing, and then they know to expect those messages from a, a particular bot account. But you know, I've seen it both ways. I've seen it both ways. Uh, I like your be right back screen. This is good. Looks good. Let's jump forward. I think you, this is where you switch. This is perfect because then we can look at gameplay too. Awesome. But then took off his, his armor and I didn't realize. And when he got into the fight down here, of course he didn't have armor and he just dropped dead. Uh, Sordior is currently cleaning up the blood. We are actually going through the remains of all of this here. So uh, another thing we had happen. You're really impressed. So am I. Honestly, Asian Moore, it's probably one of my favorite <laughs> pictures that I've done, in all honesty. This is just after um, your, here we your had death, Scarred Vulcan. <laughs> a bunch of... Um, uh, a bunch of sappers attack, and they went through the uh, Ancient Danger for some reason, and um, that promptly ended them. But then we had attacks from Manhunting Platypi, that took out the uh, dagger snout and the aura. So there is just a uh, lancer, a centipede, and a pikeman left. Tech print. There is a tech print for um, neural computation, which is like actually what I'd like, but I can't take it. Yeah, it annihilated your torso. It was just brutal. Um, Magi was taken so a welcome or sent you. Yeah, harvested. for those of you just joining us, welcome. My name's Amor. And every weekday morning, we do a quick review of other content creators' channel uh, with their permission, yeah. of course. And we take a look uh, at their content. And go how we, can. we call out uh, the things so they're doing wonderfully. And then we call out the things they can improve upon and how to get everyone thinking about how can I improve my Twitch content. How can I uh, make my engagement he better? He may be and of course, today we're looking at Arch Place, Arch Place stuff. So welcome no, and thank okay. you for that. He's good. Uh, we also have two corpses down here. And uh, what's this? Um, whoops, sorry. What does emergencies do? Um, oh, okay, okay. So... Norstat is fully healed. Norstat took quite a few, few hits before. Um, he has been through the wars. <laughs> so yeah, this. I mean, <laughs> bless me. Um, so far. So he's actually yeah. Gameplay, gameplay. Commentary is great. To um, to work on. His breathing is low, so we need. We need a bionic lung, but unfortunately, I don't think we have anyone that can even make a synthetic lung, a surrogate lung. Uh, if we do that, you, uh, no, you need seven crafting, and the highest we have is currently <laughs> Thank you, Mage. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, yeah, we, we, we honestly bless you, need to bless you, Arch. Oh, we do have a surrogate lung here, and a replacement spine, so we could work with the surrogate lung. Let's do that for now, because that will actually just help him a little bit. 
uh, install surrogate lung into your left lung. So what, what I'm noticing here, and this is something that uh, a lot of excellent Dr. streamers do, well, you're going to be is, of course, medicine. walking so through their thought process, what their next plan is. Uh, this is certainly one of the things that I always um, encourage uh, those that are kind of struggling Shioka with um, commentary or dead air during their streams. Uh, Arch does a fantastic job here just discussing his plans for his um for his colonists because i realize what's what's happened here it's not that the bot's bad it's that i don't restart the bot between streams Ign so <laughs> ignore the war crimes in rampant um, drug use <laughs> but obviously it's Cat, so what do you think so uh, far i mean some of you are from arch's stream but feel free to to chime in here how do you how do you feel about this this um engagement and this commentary so far no i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna leave it up while i i watch for commentary we'll reopen the bot um so this is what we're learning we are learning lots about this did you see my artwork that i did uh becca Oh my gosh, I am actually so freaking proud of it. Uh, I'm going to post it in the chat in art uh, in the Discord because quite simply, that actually has me feeling pretty damn good. Um, it's not often that I come away from it feeling like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sometimes I come away feeling that's not so bad, but this one. Take a look at this. There you go. There you go. And also, when you speak now, it should work. So it does think that I'm offline. Agent Moore says the engagement is why I what tune in at 6 a.m. while getting ready for work. <laughs> Scar Vulcan says, I always enjoy the RimWorld streams. Engagement is very good. He keeps us all involved in the stream, and all of his colonists are named after I community members, too. Um, I am working on more. And Magi yeah, so says, oh, Arch's commentary and engagement are great. I like the gimmicks he has on stream with the romance on the rim stories and the sound effects he has when you use channel points. Fantastic. Duck says, I used to like Arch's Rimworld streams. Then he committed duck genocide. Oh, no. So these are fantastic points from you, actually from your own community, Arch. I hope I hope you're seeing this. Uh, and you should you should be very proud. You should be very very proud of this. They like your engagement. This is fantastic. Lex says Arch does good interaction on streams. This is good. So she's actually going quite well. She's getting better. There it is. Magi says, honestly, I wouldn't know what to criticize really at times he's talking a bit slow, which is really good because it allows people to follow what's going on, especially when raids happen and in-game stuff. I also learn a lot about RimWorld in, in his games, which is very nice. Yeah, so far this is solid. Engagement seems good. I'm pretty like sure 83% chance is his only thing anyway. Um... We got a, we got a, a raid, looks like. The alert showing. The alert showed. Maybe they've changed it. They did. Oh, that is so awesome. I yeah, am they so fixed that. glad to hear that. But anyways, Green. anyways. Welcome, to Welcome Crane. We are in the middle of a review for Arch Play stuff. And thank you very that for that. Yeah, they um, just they just that, fixed um, their is, their uh, Twitch well. just fixed and the issue where they were hiding feelings. raids that were less than I believe five um, viewers. Yeah, they definitely updated it. You're in the middle of bacon and eggs, so yay, Crean, I'm so jelly right now. I want some bacon and eggs. I had okay, so I got a bunch of Halloween candy. Uh, now I already ate way too much of it yesterday. Uh, the problem. The problem. Was good. That is good. I know there's that's not yeah. bacon and eggs. I'm just saying. I was thinking about so, like my my con like consuming food I lately. I had I had what, way too much candy last night. 
Didi was also our cook. You set up a custom media for raids that didn't get shown. Oh. Nasberry says, what is the best Halloween candy? Uh, the best Halloween candy? I've seen your poll. What can you do? Your skill is under eight and you need candy corn. To do that. What about this? Your skill is under six. All right. Simple meals. It's better for you to eat it when people come to your home and spread all the germs. It's a good poll. Okay. Um, I like candy corn. I know. I saw candy corn. I was going to comment on that, Snodsberries. I love candy corn. How dare you? the apples is feeling pretty down. Why? Um, how dare you candy yeah, corn is the best stuff uh all right. black is looking for that but we're gonna so have far this is fantastic let's leap ahead um, that is going to be your duty for the next while you are literally just going to keep doing that uh honks by day why do you never do this like Actually, what I'd like to do go. is I you think we know we, we know how this is so is going to be some notes on your engagement. Pretty uh, good. Go. Pretty good. It's very the only comment I have is, is, of course, and I mean, this is a flavor of stream like this is a flavor of commentary that, you know, different creators have. There's kind of a, uh, you know, there's 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 almost a continuum, right, where you're looking at, like, how much game talk do you have versus how much um other right even though you're playing a game like how much other stuff that you talk about games like this because i used to play a lot of games like this on my channel um tend to afford a lot of game centric talk which is just fine uh, i think you know i think there's there's audiences for uh everywhere in between the spectrum it's very it's very hyper game focused and there's nothing wrong with that um I think what you do really Gross. well Structure. is you you commentary your commentary on the game is fantastic, and it does seem like yeah you know the game well enough to kind of explain uh, a lot of the things that you're you're working on and the things that uh, you're doing for for your your colony, um, and I mean a couple of your your community members already said they they learn a lot so I think that's fantastic. I think um, the other end of the spectrum, which was fantastic to see because you were doing it in art. You are certainly still doing art-centric talk, which makes sense because we want to be talking about the thing that we're streaming. Um, and normally, if there's ever gaps or if there's ever other things that come up in chat, uh, we would talk about those non-game topics. I'll admit most of this, with the exception of your opening, is all, it's all, you know, completely, I would say, 90% focused on what's going on at the time. And I think that's fantastic. Uh, I would always recommend, um, you know, kind of broadening that a little bit more. Was this? I'm going to catch up on chat. Magi says, <laughs> ask for permission. Art sometimes is just way too cute. He's just cute. Look at this feedback. I love it. <laughs> Um, okay, that said, I would, you know, no, it's the same size area. Um, as much skipping around as yeah, I've done, I've heard only Rimworld okay. talk, which is kind of surprising. With this. Only so Rimworld talk. So we can go B to reinstall. Um, no unreserved bed. Uh, I'm pretty sure down here. Oh, that's Jubal's bed. Good morning, Nubish. Welcome. And I think in. that's um, really. I think that's really. Yeah, that comes down to the style and the community that you want. Um, if that's a hundred percent what you're all about, then keep keep doing it. If you want to kind of um, leave more room for viewers and audience to get to know you, uh, certainly. I mean, your your story about someone you dated not you know not too long ago at the very like the intro of your stream was fantastic that made me laugh you're a funny dude you have some funny stories if you ever find a moment where you can continue to have those stories or you can continue to do those relatable moments what i'm looking for are more relatable moments here um and I think you do a good job of that. I just happen to not see any of them during a lot of the, the gameplay portion of the stream. Um, 
Now, don't be afraid to do now. that. Remember, we're trying to make friends. Don't be afraid to do boss. that. You know, we got. Um, Magi says sometimes Arch doesn't vary his tone enough. That's fair. Murdering people. I mean, look That's down fair. And plus, his voice is deep and calming, but I think it can seem monotone at times when you stay in the tone for a long time. That doesn't see. I don't think that sounds harsh at all. Sounds like a small, a smaller range of, of voice here is what you're getting at. Duck says, I keep having to fight the urge to jump to Arch's defense. I don't know how to deal with like, these. Let me be real here. Let me be real here. I'm going to pause that. Let's be real. Everything we're doing here is only to help improve. And this is purely from the perspective of someone who's not a part of the community and as someone who offers some of their own experiences. The, the best thing about this is Arch can continue to do all the things that Arch wants to do and take the things that, that uh, he likes about this feedback. 100%. So, um, I understand the need to maybe defend that, you know, for, you know, for, for all that, you know, may occur after this is the, the, the best case scenario is Arch takes a couple suggestions and, and totally runs with it based on, uh, on, based on another streamer's feedback. Uh, you know, it's, it's really about. It's it's really about just, you know, understanding that this is this is a separate perspective. So, you know, it's all good. It's all there's no need to defend. We're not looking here's the thing, we're not looking to break like on this on this show that I do every every weekday morning, we're not looking to break down so much as we're looking to build up, right? And so the only breakdown that is happening is that we are describing what's going on, but we're not, we're not, any critique is not meant to make uh, the creator in the hot seat, or in this case, Arch, feel bad about how they do things. So, there it is. There it is. All right. Anyway, let's continue. But yeah, don't feel don't feel like you need I mean if you want to, you could totally jump in and defend if you like duck. I mean that's that's up to you. But this isn't this isn't meant to make Arch feel bad at all. And then there's some discussion I'm seeing in chat about voice, to... which is awesome. Crean's got Crean's got some sources on that. Keep it up. That's the thing. I would too, but I lack the troops to do it. Yeah, you can totally and you, here's the thing you can totally disagree you can totally we disagree i had um i've had a off. discord i had a discord discussion with one of the people i reviewed and um they i think they felt like they had to defend themselves the whole time and ultimately i just said we you know i just i yeah, offer i offer feedback thing. as someone who's about, not um, you know in your stream all the time and i i mean uh, admittedly we took a look at maybe one or two vods on. But, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad to offer help, you know, you asked, you asked for someone to look at it, and I will gladly offer any kind of feedback that I might have. Or we fire lots of yay at the Empire, and then request help. It's all that good. That might be a good idea. It's all good, but I think the one thing I would say about your engagement mostly is, uh, at least purely during the game, and, uh, you know, I've been jumping around. But I would say that uh, um, it's very game centric and maybe there are moments that you have other things that you talk about, but there's nothing wrong with, you know, like if there's a moment where there's not a lot going on in game or, you know, you find that there's something better served by a relatable story or a relatable uh, joke or something along those lines. There you go. There you go. And I'm cu kind of curious, Arch, how do you feel about the feedback about the modulation of your voice? Uh, kind of out of curiosity. Just, um... Getting that feedback, how do you feel about it? 
And how does chat feel about uh, like for those that especially wait, that have watched him longer longer term than I have here, which is anyone from his community? How do you feel about that? Um, so what I'm thinking is what does it take to build a um Magi says it's super hard to talk in different tones. It's something that I learned about during classes. Still don't do it well in streams. It's really hard to modulate the voice, but it's doable. Yeah, you know, I I honestly I don't Right. You are on that. Honks, you're making food. No, we need to clean this room first. Um clean the room. Jubilee, clean the room. Kind of curious. Honks, with the room clean, prioritize cooking. Yeah, uh, no, we're yeah, gonna start no making some incendiary sh shells. Oh, we're gonna just um do forever. Yeah, it's interesting yeah, I do input. know that. I do know they, they grow. Um That's the thing. We don't have many long range weapons. We have we have no designated crafters at the moment um so security we've got we can have some of these going we don't have heaps of steel though um if we have them come up here um hmm. yeah I think these need power. Arya says, need I love the voice. The voice is what first power. captured me, and now I wake um, up at 6 a.m. And, and love how chill everything is. Yeah. Speaking, and I'll admit, speaking as someone, because so I got my start, for those of you that don't know, I got my start playing a game called uh, Oxygen Not Included. It was, uh, it was an, uh, simulator, a survival simulator for a colony. I'm familiar. Oxygen not included. I, I streamed that game straight for over a year. I kid you not. Thousand plus hours of that just streamed. Um, I built a community on top of that. And not unlike Arch, a lot of the feedback I got was like, hey, we love your voice. We think you're relaxing. This is very, this is a very chill environment. Right. I was late night. I was a late night streamer playing chill, lo fi vibes and playing Oxygen Not Included for days. Anyway, so I get it. Like, I've gotten that, that thing where, you know, I've actually often wondered if my voice would be considered like, like a monotone or mon like monotonous, boring voice. And what I've come to learn is that obviously the the intonation and the modulation is much more subtle when you have someone not unlike me or unlike arch here um i don't think it's a problem i mean i'm sure people who notice or lo look for various levels of of modulation within someone's voice would notice that i don't personally see it as a problem because i can still detect i can still detect the variances in how arch is playing and so while it may be somewhat Man, of a concern one of i think too. overall arch one is one fine so we can make some friends but there's nothing i think there's people. nothing wrong with exploring uh, that particular aspect of it uh, or getting more idea. information yep. i don't think there's anything wrong with that but um speaking as someone who's who's been there someone who's been there i totally get it uh, Urshad's in a daze, that's fine. Um, oh, Magi, no no worries. I'm simply offering my my outlook. There's no yeah, yeah. Okay, good. There's no judgment of that feedback here. Um, There's no it's yeah, I'm I'm just merely giving my own uh, thoughts on it. So this isn't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Everything's fine. I kind of We're doing the breakdown. The at this point. <laughs> Your feedback is valid. Um, you offered your feedback, and then I offered my feedback, and then we continue. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So I think we've seen a we've seen a lot here. Let's see how you close the stream. Sit now. Um, just having a look at who is on 
Um, as we can. Um, Let's see. Time to go? No worries. Take care. Thank you so much for dropping in. I absolutely appreciate that. You have a wonderful day. Um, we're going to take that Chitin mini turret as well. We've got one day of food because we're not taking the other meals. That would be silly. Um, we're going to take all of that and we're just going to hit send. There we go. Uh, all the crazy story time and organ harvesting. You are welcome. You are absolutely welcome. Um, speaking of which, we are probably going to wind up at this point. We've been in it for almost seven hours, and I think that is an absolutely amazing, amazing run we've had so far. Um, I would like to thank everyone for the raids, for the follows. Uh, if you would like to see more, leave a follow. We'll be back on Saturday with more RimWorld, uh, continuing this absolutely tough challenge of trying to maintain a straight face while we remove people's feet. Um, <laughs> I don't <laughs> succeed. But yes, so, um, very sneaky. Yeah, that's it. Um, thank you so much for that follow, uh, Mr. Stromberg. Uh, I've got a Discord, I've got a Twitter, I've got a YouTube, I've got all that stuff. Um, so if you would like to follow or uh, keep an eye out for when I next go live, feel free to jump in the Discord. We have a lot of time in there, a good time in there, a lot of good times in there. That's the one I knew I was trying to say something. Um, and yeah, let's find someone to uh, go and visit now. Um, just having a look at who is on, um, I'm just going to go quickly check on someone and be like, oi, you. Um, I don't know if that... No, soonish. There we go. We are going to go raid Noom TV because Noom TV is an absolutely great guy. Um, he is a good friend of mine. He is actually one of my emotes. He <laughs> is this emote of mine. So if you would like to purchase that emote for 80, 80 um, channel points, which I'm sure you've all had if you've been lurking, um, we will arrange a raid message, a special raid message for him, just to remind him that <laughs> I drew him once and it is one of the most cursed things that remains on Twitch. <laughs> um, I like that. So. And then, all right. So here's the raid message for him. Hey, Numi. I want to grab those. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, absolutely appreciate the crap out of all of you. Tonight has just been amazing. I, I actually <laughs> feel really, really good. And I hope to see you all again soon. So take care. Thank you again. And see you on the other side. Bye for now. Uh, that was a fantastic close. Actually, you did everything that I always recommend, which is, you know, thanking, thanking everyone for their time or being there. Letting them know that you're you're closing it down for for the stream. When to see you next? You said Saturday. A little like adding time there would be ideal, but that was good. Uh, and then sharing um, ways that they can get in touch with you and or your community um, by by dropping those socials. So I think that was a perfect close. I think everyone should be doing that sort of thing at the end of their stream. Um, sometimes I recommend like. Uh, I'm sure that you have to get somewhere after the stream. Um, but like certainly sometimes some people feel rushed, totally get that. Try not to feel rushed. Kind of got somewhat a little bit of a sense of, it, of that at the very end, but otherwise I think that was pretty good. I think, um, that was a fantastic closing. Yeah. You know, thank your viewers. Uh, tell them when you'll be on next. And then, you know, mention where they can see you, whether it be on Discord, Twitter, any kind of social, if there's anything like that. Um, that's what we've got. So overall, I think that's a fantastic close. I think my summary of the channel would be, you know, there's there's some stuff when it comes to your uh, scene design that can use some work and polish. Uh, a little work with your camera as well. I think that's good. I think uh, overall, um, some slight tweaks to those things would help. 
the polish the polish would would be definitely noticeable your engagement overall is great i really enjoyed both the art and the gameplay uh sections of the stream engagement is very 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 high i do believe it is quite um focused and and centric on the thing that you are doing at the time don't forget to inject more of your personality into it, whether it's telling more stories about your uh, your exes or it's telling telling other uh, jokes or or relatable moments. I think that's what we're looking for is more relatable moments for your community to glom onto. I think I think that's the thing a lot of streamers um, tend to struggle with or could do always do more of talking about who they are because they're there for you, Arch. They're there for you. So uh, even though your your art in your gameplay uh, commentary seem to be top notch try to work in things that are more relatable or just share a little bit more about you the audio audio seemed okay audio seemed okay so um i didn't notice anything major in terms of audio mic came through well mix seemed fine so, um, the cl okay, well, I'll take a look at the clip and I can follow up on that. But I think, I think this is solid guys. I think, um, you know, you guys should check out arch arch Plays stuff. If I could get a shout out for him, um, one more time. Uh, thank you so much for doing that. I really think there's just some, some minor things you can change. I know, uh, you did want to talk about a little bit about, um, you know how to make friends with other content creators uh the short version of that and we can always talk more about this later but what i would say is a lot of that comes down to spending time in other people's streams or just most mostly it's spending time in other people's streams and or interacting with them on uh things outside of that like social media or discord um that's really the biggest the biggest thing and taking time out of taking time out of your day um to try to find find more friends on twitch uh, that's really the the you know that's the the shortest version of it whether it's finding a stream that you like whether it's in the categories that you're in yourself whether it be art or rim world or things like that or just you know um as you're on on twitter noticing the other people that you that you follow like who they interact with as well in the stream space. 